If you are currently looking at purchasing a cargo trailer, then this series is going to be for you. This is going to be part one and what to look for as far as outside appearances, defects, stuff like that. So stick with it. There'll be different sections. I'll try to keep it as short as possible. When it comes to purchasing a cargo trailer, keep in mind that you get what you pay for. Some brands are better than others, and I will be going that over that in this video and showing what to look for between the different trailer manufacturers. The first trailer dealership that I stopped by, I happened to notice this. If you look where the red arrow is, you'll see a missing screw. This is a well-known trailer brand. And I just couldn't believe it when I saw this. And this is on the showroom. They have roughly 100 plus trailers sitting out there. If you were to go to purchase an automobile from a dealership and it was missing screws or it was missing door handles and they said, well, you get what you pay for, it would be unacceptable. Well, the same thing should apply to a trailer. You're spending thousands of dollars. Screws should not be missing out of any panels whatsoever. Now this is the same trailer dealership. If you notice, this is your grab handle to pull your back ramp door down. Now a lot of good this is going to do somebody if it only has one grab handle. So again, this is totally unacceptable. This is stuff that you need to be looking for when you're looking for a trailer before you purchase it. Did you get that fancy LED upgrade kit all the way around? You might want to check your license plate light. might surprise you that it may be a different bulb and not an LED bulb. This is something that needs to be checked, and I have seen this on multiple trailers, bragging that they had a full LED package when it comes to find out they have a simple 194 bulb in them. The other thing you need to look for, if you look at the arrow, you'll see silicon on the top of the license plate frame. That's great and all, but as soon as you tighten up the screws for your license plate, it actually pushes the panel and separates the plastic frame from the body panel itself. Another thing to watch for. When you are looking at trailers at a dealership or wherever, online, take your pick, you want to look for the body panel screws to make sure that they're not missing, kind of like here. Now, if you see that they are missing, then you're going to have to fix it yourself if you purchase this vehicle. Keep this in mind when looking at different trailers. Again, you want to look at all your trailer, every inch of it. After all, you're paying thousands of dollars for this trailer. You shouldn't expect it to be 100% perfect, but when you see defects like this, rubber stopper sitting on top of a body panel screw, along with the hole at the top highlighted by the red arrow, this should not be acceptable either. Here is another example of a hole that is on top of the body panel screw. Again, another place for water to get in and create a rusting problem. If you notice, this body panel screw isn't even all the way in. It's not even up against the body panel itself. Again, allowing for water to get in and creating a rust problem. A lot of people forget about this. Did you look at the roof on the top of this trailer to see what kind of condition it's in? In other words, is it a one-piece unit? Is it several pieces? Kind of like what you see here. Or is it just slopped together? Where the wiring goes through the frame of your trailer, is it grommeted like you see here? Or did they take a blowtorch to it and cut a hole through it and then run it through with no grommeting? The other thing is, does it come with drip trim or trim molding, whatever you want to call it? In other words, when it rains out, is it going to run inside the trailer? You need to take that into consideration as well. A lot of people forget about the drip trim and water ends up getting inside their trailer, unfortunately. This is a picture of the inside of a wheel well on a cargo trailer. If you notice, you'll see a sharp piece of metal and also some welding wire that should not be there. That is unacceptable. It should have been taken care of at the factory at the start. As you can see, it's not even sealed properly, let alone trimmed off where it should be. This is a door latch for your trailer door. Some of them are made of plastic. 
aluminum, and then you have steel. It depends on the manufacturer. What I like about the plastic ones, even though people think they're cheaper, if you bang the door or you've had a cargo trailer in the past, you've broken these. If you can operate a screwdriver, you can replace this. That's the good thing about the plastic ones. Now the steel ones or the aluminum ones, sometimes you can't even operate them, let alone close the doors. And that's on a brand new one sitting at a trailer dealership. The other thing is don't be afraid to get underneath your cargo trailer. Inspect it. Look at it. Look at the construction. If you notice, this is supposed to be undercoated. You can see the grains of wood, unfortunately. So the undercoating is a little bit thin. But the beams themselves, the steel, it's pretty much coated. There's a little bit of surface rust, but not too bad. It might be in your best interest to put more undercoating on it, which is an added expense. The other thing you want to look for is the screws that are actually screwed from the wood into the steel itself. You don't want screws going through the wood where they miss the stud, they back them out, and then they go back into it again. That will tell you whether or not you actually have a good quality job. This is the end of part one. I welcome any comments or suggestions. There will be other videos and other parts pertaining to the interior, the suspension, and the tires. The reason I did this video is because you can spend hours searching online, on YouTube, on Google, Yahoo, wherever you want to search, and you're not going to get the information that you're looking for when purchasing a cargo trailer. Unless you go to these websites and they'll say, our trailers are the best, and that's all they give you. They will not give you any of the information that you have seen in this video.